What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and this is a gameplay preview of Hypergalactic Psychic Table Tennis 3000, launching on the PC on Steam, March the 3rd of 2020, for a price of $2. As always, full disclosure, this game provided by the publisher. Now, this publisher, Blue Wizard Digital, also known for games such as Slayaway Camp, Space Tyrant, and Friday the 13th Killer Puzzle. This is a table tennis game. This is Pong. And you might ask, what can you do to Pong in 2020? Let's hop in here and check it out. I'm playing with an Xbox controller here, and you can play mouse or you can play with keyboard. Unfortunately, you can't play with the classic paddle like you'd want to in a paddle game. Now, right off the bat, you'll notice this is not your mama's Pong. This is not your granddaddy's Pong. This is a whole different bit of beardness. There is a Diablo-style menu here at the bottom with your health and your mana, and you can cast spells, and eventually you can romance these paddles. Also, voiceover from Commander Shepard from Mass Effect, so there's that part of the equation. Don't fireball me. I'll beat you. And then you level up in between rounds of Pong here, and you get upgrades for your paddle, eventually clothes, and beasts to ride, and that kind of thing. Right now, we're pretty early on, about 20 minutes in, so, I'm gonna recover my damage here, and Deal. that'll be a good bit of beardness, if you will. But, as I said, I'm playing with a controller. Now, what you want for any kind of a Pong Tail Tennis game is you want one of these. Nobody is supporting these in 2020. This is literally my Atari deal, so unfortunately, that's unfortunate. But, it's okay. Like, look, it's not Let's the best rock. playing it with a controller, or a mouse, or a keyboard. It's never as accurate as you want it to be in terms of your speed, but it gets the job done. I missed. Well enough. You're fighting against the CPU here, so it's kind of, alright, well how good or bad is the CPU in a Pong game? You can see whenever I get hit by the ball, my health drops, and whenever they get hit by the ball, their health at the top there drops. But I can get food here to regain health, but it is first two three points wins these matches. And I haven't seen it get crazier beyond this just yet, but again, this is like in the first 20 minutes or so, so I'm assuming at some point it starts to open up in terms of what you gain for levels and what you... Ah, get there! It killed me. Even if it kills you, even if you die in a particular round, you can still score a point. Now, if it scores the point, which it won't, but if it did, then I would come back in the next point and have a chance to regain and accomplish more and win that round. So when you lose here, which we are, three points, I lost, game over, and it's back to the main menu, and you hit continue. So you're stuck back to where you are, which is good, but the enemies Let's seem go. pretty randomized. So this is a different guy that I was just fighting here. And you can see I've gained now health. I'm using LBRB to change my spells between health and between fireballs. Fireball. I, I have fireball, and obviously the blue liquid is the mana, and so if I, if I wanted to get health back, I could just cast health Deal. like that, and then not get hit by the health. And you can see at the top bar there, the enemy's health is getting down, because they're taking the same kind of damage that I'm taking. And yes, you start out moving just up and down. So there's an upgrade to move left and right, which does help quite a bit. I might add. So, if you're wondering how in the blue hell you make Pong a different thing, a better thing, a more strange thing in 2020, this is the answer. Learn the ice paddle or boost my height. I'm gonna boost the height. I think that might help me a bit here. Just a little bit. So, you'll see enemies repeating here as you play through, and some are a lot easier than others. There's one that's like the big baby, and that one is like super hard because he's super huge, right? But I thought in 09, when they put out a game called Bit Trip Beat, that was a fantastic way to modernize the Pong table tennis style of video game, and I think this might be the next step, the next logical step in what you can do with this kind of game is, hey, make it an RPG and make it weird. And you guys know I love weird games. That is kind of what I do here when I'm not playing wrestling games. I'm playing the weird stuff because that's what I like to do. 
even if it is, hey, you're playing yeah, Pong in 2020. Up. And if you didn't grow up on it, then I understand. You're like, what is this basic game in 2020 doing? But it's doing some stuff. Now, I'm going to learn the ice. Paddle. I'm not sure what ice does. And every so, every so often, you hit a boss paddle. This boss paddle is yeah, the hell me. goat. Now, that green stuff in the middle, don't touch it. It's basically poison. Take that. Uh, and so if you wander into it, and that is also kind of randomized here, I think. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm ice now. What does that actually do? It makes it slippery? I'm not sure what that actually accomplishes for your boy, but that's fine. I gotta heal here. Yeah! That's called Pong Strategy. 1-0 freaking 1. I'm trying to angle it, and it's not really... There we go. He's... Alright. Smash! Now, occasionally, when I have played... Okay, the ice thing has to recharge. For what I have played, sometimes the hit detection can be a little bit wonky. I've had it hit on the corner and still kind of go behind me, which is not what you want in a Pong game, but they could fix that, I'm sure. There we go, healed. Didn't even try for it. Wait, I think he healed. That's not cool. I need to heal, because I am just losing... Yeah, see, it kind of hit the corner, kind of went behind him, but I'll take it. It is a victory for me. So, Hell Goat explodes into a slew of meaty paddle chunks. Let's boost my luck to find some abilities. secrets. So, max hit points, max magic, and luck plus one. Tiny turnt all the way turnt up, Let's if you will. It. Now, if I pause it here, I feel you can amazing. see my stats, my equipment, no beast, and all my skill I have unlocked so far in the first half an hour or so of this game. There's some stuff in here. They've definitely layered a whole awful lot of stuff on top of the very basic Pong formula. And how long that might be entertaining to you personally, I guess it depends on how much you care about playing the actual game of Pong to a degree, or table tennis, if you will. And it's kind of like that. It kind of goes on like that, and it just kind of stacks on the weirdness above and beyond what it's currently doing. So let's boost my max HP I've leveled up. and take on Rept Roll. So I don't know how many different paddles are there to fight. Honestly, it's kind of you got ones that are skinny, ones that are thin, and ones that are super huge. I haven't seen much really beyond that in variety thus far, but still, it's pretty early. And I have to wonder, just off the top of my head, like how long of an experience this might be. There's stuff in here, there's like branching dialogue paths, there's things you would not expect in this kind of a game to be in this kind of a game, which, you know, that's kind of the whole point, is you're defying what people would expect from a game like this in 2020. Which again, it's not going to be for everybody, but I'm weird, and it's weird, and I'm down with Better luck, the man. weirdness, because that's what I do. So far, it's been a lot of this. Like, alright, get, get three points, beat a guy... Get an upgrade, I've and I haven't movie. seen too much more. See, again, Beast Paddle, back die. on it. Have not seen that big baby just yet. Um, he just totally... Hornswoggle will be there. Crazy. Crazy. But I want to keep playing because I do like the games from this company, right? And they've made some things that I really enjoyed playing in the past couple of years. So I will definitely keep on keeping on with whatever this is and what it does and give it a, you know... What? Give it a fair shot. Give it a fair shake. Because that's... Man. So again, that part where I feel like I wish I had more control over my paddle and it is an RPG, yeah. so I'm assuming yeah, at some point I get enough upgrades to get more of a paddle speed. But again, I guess you couldn't really use the old school style of paddle if you had to manage, you know your spells and manage moving, you know, back and forth in the stage and not just up and down. So I understand why you wouldn't have that kind of a control for the game. I'm just saying for my money, like, the way that that, that things used to control with the old school paddles on the Atari just worked so well because you had that very analog control. Which is, alright, slow or real fast, you know? That was kind of how you played it and uh, it was a good time. At the time. Back in the 70s. Granted, I was not alive in the 70s. See, that should have gone... I should have hit... Whatever, man. Whatever. Give me that pill! Pills here. Grabbing pills. Fireball. Now, see, the fireball is not going to go through this water. So there are different variables at play in these 
stages. So it is important to know... I should go. I should go. Now, how did that beat me when I... Look, one more shot, and then we're going to call it here. Because at this point, Kobolder, you get the idea of what this game is doing and what it's all about, I think. Um, and again, I would have liked to see more of the weird stuff, to be honest. But that kind of is what it is at a certain juncture. And go watch that Steam trailer and look at the Steam page. Got kind of get a better idea of what they're pitching for the game. And, like, I'm really curious how long of an experience it is or how replayable it is. Because it's kind of like, hey, you've played it and you've, you know, done this over and over for, you know, a little bit. And, yeah, you've gained spells. But at what juncture does it start to give you the dialogue trees? At what point does it start to change things up a little bit? From just, hey, you're playing Pong. And I like Pong, fair enough. But there's a lot of games out there right now to be playing, so playing Pong in 2020 is like, yeah, I you could do that. You could. Nice try, bruh. Bruh. Alright, boost your height or boost your intelligence. Boost my intelligence. More powerful. Alright, Skeletrog is our last opponent here. And again, it's a paddle. I'm fighting paddles. I will, at this point, remind you, this game is $2. So if the jokes seem funny to you for $2, then why not? Like, that to me is a no-brainer for a lot of games, if they're t 2 bucks, because I've bought some really weird and crazy stuff at that price point, because, you know, it's 2 bucks, man. That's change in the couch is enough for a game, and why the hell not? Why wouldn't you at that juncture? Like, if what it's doing seems funny enough, and what it has promised Battle seems funny ball. enough, then spend the two bucks and hop in. Because this studio has made some good stuff in the past, and I'm curious how this game pans out as I continue to play it and advance through these stages, etc. Etc. But this is... Alright, 25! Cthulhu Paddle! Okay, let's see Look at that thing! Got. Look at that thing! How do you beat that big honking Paddle! Cthulhu! Fireball. See, I should have gone... I mean, unless you just keep on firing fireballs at it. Which I can't do. But, if you could... Fireball. Like that. Like, I guess you... But e even then, like, it's gonna get you... It's gonna get you, man. Fireball. Ah, oh, what the hell was that? It shouldn't have came back at me. So yeah, occasionally the physics seem a little bit wonky. Which I'm, I'm not a fan of, but... You deal with it. It's two bucks. Like, I can overlook a lot of things in video games when they're two bucks. And if I think the jokes are funny, and what it's doing is interesting, then sure. Why not? So, do yourself a favor on March the 3rd, and peep the Steam page for Hypergalactic Psychic Table Tennis 3000 for a price of two dollars. And that help just saved me there completely. But Cthulhu here is gonna beat me. That's just the way it goes sometimes. He's got the deep sea darkness. It is two to two match point. This video is longer than I thought it would be for a game of the stature, but I got no health, so that's it. We're done. I should go. We've lost. I should go. Game over. There you go. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos on this channel. Tune in for those. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.